McGigan, Commercial Director Europe, Smart City Solutions, Silver Spring Networks. Uh, hi. hi, Ryan, thank you very much for this uh, interview. Uh, could you tell me uh, what the Silver Spring Networks do? Sure. Um, so Silver Spring Networks provide flexible communication and data platforms for cities and utilities that let them connect um, a whole host of different devices and sensors to software applications so they can start to innovate their services. And it's using the, the la I mean, uh, you talked about some solutions here that are using the Lightning Network. Mainly, are you special? Yeah, so we, 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 well, we started in the energy network, so we're a market leader in the US and many other markets for smart grid connectivity. Um, and we, over the last two years, have started working with cities, and we recognize that street lighting will play a really important role in the um, evolution of city services simply because by connecting streetlights, cities can enable a platform that will allow them to connect many other types of assets, whether that's traffic assets, sensors, parking, management tools and otherwise. So we think that's a, a big opportunity, which really, um, as has been much of the focus of the event here, will really transition um, street lighting programs into actually IoT programs in some way, so perhaps that will influence the considerations that uh, lighting authorities need to take when, when making decisions. Like the Bristol uh, project, for example? Uh, yeah, so in Bristol, that's a, um, a really interesting project that is maybe taking a slightly different approach to others. So there the city wanted to enable connectivity across the city. Um, they want to try and become uh, leaders in IoT and smart city and promote startups and local businesses to develop new applications. So they've rolled out uh, a mesh network across the city, which the primary aim is to get these uh, the council, startups, university to start building new applications using that. Um, so they are using the street lighting infrastructure. So in simple terms, they're upgrading one in ten street lights. Um, which doesn't give the street lighting operator full control because it's just one in ten lights, but it creates a mesh network right across the city that can be used to connect up a whole host of different applications. And one of the first customers of that network is the street lighting department in the city who are choosing particular streets, uh, such as the Brunel Mile, where they want to upgrade all the lights to LED and full control. So um, uh, that's, it's an interesting project.